Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's topic uh, where we are going to discuss about anxiety. So this topic is one of my favorites because everyone we meet, somewhere or the other, is facing this problem. Some people know to tackle it. Some people don't know how to tackle it. Some people are dealing with daily anxiety, but some people are dealing with anxiety disorder. What can you do? avoid being anxious is what we're going to be covering in today's video so firstly to understand what is anxiety the feeling that a gut gives you when you are having that butterflies when you're fearful when you feel that nothing is going to be in your control now is the feeling of anxiety i don't know what is going to happen but i'm fearful about something and i waste hours thinking about that thing even if it is going to happen or even if it is not going to happen. So when it starts causing a problem in your daily routine, daily task, it's causing a hindrance in your daily task is when you should start worrying. Is when you should interrogate yourself first, ask yourself as in why and what are you fearful of? What do you need to control? Now there are two types of anxiety. One is the daily anxiety that we that is being nervous, being fearful of something like going for an interview, having that fear inside, that anxiety is still fine. But when you are in some situation that you cannot control, that situation can be a life changing situation that has changed your life in a way or there is some change that is happening around in your life which you are not able to accept, that is when the trigger arises for anxiety. Say for example, uh, losing a job having a breakup. So these are the things where uh, your life is going to be changed in a way and you're not okay with the change that is happening. This leads to you overthinking and this leads to the situation that is beyond your control. Your mind is failing to accept that. You're fearful of having to face the new day with that change that causes anxiety. Firstly, we'll talk about the symptoms, what kind of symptoms you have. Often after the episode has happened, you will have this feeling of not being able to accept of the change. So you may feel a breathlessness that happens. Every morning when you get up, you may have a negative feeling and you are unable to digest the fact that this change is what you have to deal with. These are the symptoms that you have in anxiety. You may end up thinking for hours, you will not be able to arrive at a conclusion because you're just thinking and the thoughts keep wandering in a way that you're not able to get a particular solution or you're not able to stop your thought. Your mind is out of your control. You, you don't know how to deal with your mind. It's just way beyond and you are unable to control it. Talk about how to deal with anxiety. Every situation in your life that happens is going to happen. There, you are given two choices. Either happily accept it or crib about it and accept it. But you have to accept it. You need to accept that things are going to be out of your control. And when you do that, it is going to be easy for you to process the change that is happening in your life. So the first thing that you have to do is accept. Accept the change. Accept, accept and adapt what is happening around you. Second thing is when you have, so anxiety is not in your control, right? So you, it just triggers on you and uh, you're fearful, you're nervous and that you're very anxious. The point that you need to understand is what triggers your anxiety the trigger point is is it height is it the place is it something to do with a subject is it to do with some person understand what triggers anxiety for you firstly in the initial stages I would um, I would suggest avoid those things so if something is there if, if you're fearful of a place that triggers your anxiety for now avoid going to that place if there is a person that is causing your anxiety for now to avoid that person to deal with your anxiety in the first place 
Then when you are okay dealing with your anxiety, slowly take one step at a time and start facing the fear. If you're fearful of that place, go visit that place. That is only after you are okay dealing with your anxiety. You cannot expect to do the second step when you're still overcoming the fear. So um, once you start controlling your anxiety, then you can go to the second step that is face the fear and overcome it. But in the process of anxiety, when when you are anxious, at that moment, what you are supposed to do? I know it's very difficult uh, to just put it out, but at that moment, you're not in that frame of mind to do anything. Your thoughts rush. You are just feeling that you're going to have an attack and you're going to pass out. I understand that. But at that moment, if you learn to control your mind, you're a winner. So when anxiety hits you, just look out for a video. Just look out for something that soothes you. At that moment itself, meditate. Let your thoughts come into one place. The wandering thoughts, let them disappear. Just control your mind. Do not think anything at that moment. That is your first win-win situation when you are able to do that. When anxiety hits you, learn to push out the thoughts. Gather yourself and focus into something else. That is the first step that you have to do. Of course, this is not a one-day task. You need to understand that you have inculcated something inside you for years. So it is going to take time for you to come out of it. A person who is ill, who is ill cannot recover in a minute or two, right? It takes time for him to heal. That is the same way here. And second important thing is, for anyone to heal, to face, to overcome, it is important for you to accept that you are not well. It is important for you to accept that you are drowning. If you feel that you will be able to swim and come out while you don't know swimming, you are going to drown even more. So it is important for you to accept that you don't know swimming and you are drowning and you are in that pit already. And second is, you should then start learning to deal with situations and come out of it. We spoke about the situation where you have to deal, the first step is to deal, to only gather your thoughts. Once you have learned to do that, Every time you are anxious, just sit there, meditate for 5 minutes, 10 minutes until your thoughts are vanished and you are focused. You have no thoughts but you are just breathing. Just control on your breathing. Be back to normal. That is your first step. Second step, you are able to control your breathing at the moment when you are anxious. Then you move on to the second step. Now is when you start diverting your mind. You are anxious, divert your mind. Divert into something. Listen to some video, do your painting, do your uh, do your hobby. Learn something. That is when you are diverting. Once you are okay with that phase too, you are occupied. So the level of anxiety from here drops down. Even when you are anxious, you can now switch on to the thoughts at this level. Now, this is a little comfort level. From here, to fall it out or to eliminate anxiety, you need to face it. So this will take time. This may take a lot of time for people. It takes years too. The more stronger you are with the process of controlling your mind, the more stronger you will be able to pass out your anxiety and come over it. So when you are able to do the second step is when you face the fear. What are you afraid of? Heights. Go jump off. Do some bungee jumping. Start with something. Face it. You're harnessed. You'll not die. You can just put up one thing that if I come up from this situation, 
or be a new person. If you are fearful of some place, try reaching that place. If you are fearful of heights, take that one step at a time. At least the first step, reach up to the 13th floor, see down. You are overcoming your fear. At least walk up to the terrace. The second time you can just go inside the terrace and just look down. You, so you are going to face the fear step by step. One step at a time. Which is okay. You are making progress is what counts. Understand this is not going to be the end result, the end destination. It is a journey that you are going to have to put in your life for a better you. So this is an investment that you are going to do in yourself. You need to understand what triggered that fear. If it is darkness, what triggered that fear? Why are you fearful of darkness? Did you see something? Or is it because uh, when you were a child, you had uh, all types of um, serials and movies that were seen across that the ghost comes at that point and you're scared. Is that the reason? Fear, why? Because you have fallen once from the height and you're fearful that again the next time I'll go, I'll fall. What, what is that trigger that caused that fear? If about love and relationships, if you're fearful that you will again get hurt falling in love then understand the trigger what caused that trigger the trigger of being hurt in the relationship that is the fear that you have target yourself and understand what caused that fear why are you afraid to fall in love because you were hurt before once you start dealing with the problems you will understand to tackle them. Then you will understand that it is not always going to be the same. You will understand that it has, it was an experience. It need not be the same always. You need to justify your own emotions, your own fear, which is when you will be able to have that courage to face the situation. It will take time. But you taking that step is what counts, which means you are already in the process of transforming yourself and overcoming anxiety. That's all for my video. It's a short video on anxiety. Please share this video with someone who is facing anxiety issues, who is fearful of some situation. If you need something more to be covered in this topic, if you have any questions, please list down below in the comment section. Or you can reach out to me on Instagram. My Instagram ID is also listed below. And um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Ta-da!